Hi everyone, I just quickly threw together this little video to help Glenn with his keyword research and titles, uh, but also as a sample for everyone else on how to do this, because if you launch a book on uh, Kindle uh, on Amazon, you absolutely need to do keyword research and you need to have a keyword research software. This is not optional unless you don't want to sell books. I mean, if you just want to put it up there quickly and never sell again, fine. But if you want to sell, you need a software. Uh, he's using, Glenn is using a Kindle Samurai, which is an older version. It's much cheaper, but I would not recommend buying it unless you're strapped for cash. KDP Rocket is the software to use, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do some light keyword research for um, Glenn. I don't know exactly what his book is about. I, I roughly know, and I'm just using this as an example. This can be done a lot more in depth but hopefully it will help how to select keywords, where to use them, what numbers to look for and so forth. So this is just a quick overview and I invite you to do this yourselves with your books. Uh, I don't think the launches we had so far really had proper keyword research done and well thought out uh, titles uh, has at least been my impression. This is how people find you. So keyword research is incredibly important. So I put in a caregiver because Glenn had gone with healthcare and seniors and all that nothing totally wrong with that it's a good starting point but from what i understand healthcare is not really what what the book is about it's about caregiving for elderly and it's for uh, private people families to uh, you know deal with the overwhelm and all that by the way burnout uh, overwhelm glenn those would be keywords you also should add um, but let's look at caregiver which seems to be the main keyword and i just put this into uh, kdp rocket the way you do that is super easy. You go to a new idea search, you put the keyword in, go get them rocket. It's kind of cute. And then you have caregiver here. Uh, now let's look at those numbers. The most important one is Amazon because most uh, keyword research tools only have Google, which is interesting, but the important one is Amazon because the numbers, as you can see, are often totally different. So the only one I did this before, just to have a look, the only one that really strikes me here is the actual word caregiver that has over a thousand searches per month that's okay that's pretty decent it seems to have a pretty high competitive score but i wouldn't let that scare you off i will look at that in a second usually with kdp rocket you don't want to be over 70 and under 30 is really easy you see another one here caregiver guide uh, competitive score 20 second the thing here is with all of these others they're all under 100 monthly searches, which isn't great. So you can still use these within the description, but for main keywords, I would stay with something higher. If you hear noises, it's the dog right next to me. I'm on Madeira and has a dog, two dogs on the couch on the left and right. So, oh, now she's sighing. Life is good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, coming back to the keywords. So let's go through this just so you can see what I'm uh, talking about here. So caregiver guide obviously would be a good one, but it's very low caregivers, lifesavers, caregiver free books. You can't use something like books in the title. Let's see, caregiver survival guide, another one. Apparently has no competition at all. This is the competitive score again and under 100, but let's still see and get some ideas. Survival guide is not bad. I like that one, <clears throat> but not for the main title necessarily. Uh, caregiver stress, caregiver guide to dementia. I haven't uh, analyzed these because they're not relevant. Caregiver health book, help book, sorry. And what else? I, I already looked through this to save time. Caregiver jobs, uh, home watch caregivers. That has home watch caregivers as at least 252. That's not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Caregiver jobs has a decent amount. So those are things you could throw into the description and also the backend keywords that go into uh, KDP when you upload the book. Caregivers, so the, the plural has 252. So you can use that at some point as well. Caregiver burnout, I would say is a very important one. Doesn't have much search volume. Decent one on Google though, 2400, not a high competition. So that's that. I think the caregiver support, how much caregiver. So this is also, giving you more ideas. How to become a caregiver is a great one to add in the descriptions, always helpful. Um, let's see if there's anything. Private caregiver, primary caregiver, family caregivers, that's of course another one. None of these have high <clears throat> uh, search volumes here, but just to give you ideas. 
So these are things I would put in the description, elderly caregiver, in home caregiver, at least these have a search volume at all, because some others you may think of often are have zero search volume on Amazon. And of course that you definitely do not want. Uh, caregiver fatigue is another one I would take notice of because those are the pain points, overwhelm, burnout, fatigue, stress, uh, support group, senior caregivers. So overall, the caregiver field does not seem to have a very high search volume on Amazon, meaning not too many people are looking for books on that topic, which honestly really surprises me. But that seems to be the case here. <clears throat> Passionate caregivers. All right. Caregiver burden, depression, again, pain points. I would totally take notice of those words. You can sprinkle those in the description. That's perfect. Now let's go back to the top to this one here, since that is the only one that has a really good decent search volume and then we'll go and check competition so you click on here and then it comes up over here there we go so now what we're looking at here is first of all do, do these books have that keyword in the title or subtitle because that means these people optimize their books for that title for that keyword sorry and that makes it always a little bit more difficult to rank for it for example, this is what KDP Rocket is so great at because it shows you keyword in the title, keyword in the subtitle. Yes, no, super easy with one look. Then over here, you see the sales rank. You see the age of the book in days, reviews, number of reviews, average of reviews. Price is irrelevant here. That stuff you can skip. So <clears throat> several things we're looking at here. The first thing we look at is does the keyword show up in the title and or subtitle? And it seems that with almost all of these books, in fact, all of them, that name, that keyword caregiver is in the title and to some degree in one case, I think even also in the subtitle. So they all went after that keyword. Now the good news here is ABSR is Amazon bestseller rank. Any book over 100,000 doesn't sell at all. And 90,000 is still not great. And uh, you want to look at books under 30, at least under, th under 20. That would be competition. Otherwise, it really isn't. These books are not selling at all. None of them really is selling. So no competition there. Now, uh, <clears throat> one thing to keep in mind here that's quite interesting. This one just came out. This is 10 days. This is three days. So there were three books just now, another one, four, that just uh, are caregiver guides that just launched, which is quite interesting. Now, clearly these people don't know what they're doing. At least this one is brand new, so we don't know quite yet. Uh, but she has zero reviews. This one is 10 days out and only has four reviews. That's way too low. It needs to be much higher. Um, this one is three days out, zero reviews. That could still come. They may just have published it, but not launched it yet with promos and all that. But overall, there's really only two books, this one and this one, that actually have a decent amount of reviews, 25 and 40. And then this one, 59. Okay, there is a few here. And all of them are older and none of them are selling. 500,000, 700,000, way too high. None of these books are selling. Now, this can occasionally happen and then they go back down again. But I mean, the overall tendency here is that none of these people seems to know how to publish on Amazon successfully on long term, which is great news. And yet people went after that keyword. It was a high competition keyword. It means uh, that they feel there is a market there. So the other thing we do now is quickly look at the covers. That doesn't look great. Sorry. <laughs> it's the ultimate caregiver guide. That's not bad. 20 things you must know. That is not so great. Promoting health and safety in homes. Okay. Now again, she's brand new. She just launched, uh, published this book. I don't know if she launched it already. Keyword in the title, no reviews. So not heavy competition. Let's look at the next one. Gentle caregiver, interesting title, not crazy about the cover. It's not bad, but doesn't really blow me away. Practical advice and support for the family caregiver. That's pretty good. Now it's has been out for 10 days. It's already sunk to 200,000 brand new book. And then only four reviews, at least a five point average. That's the highest you can have at least that, but you know, not, not, but difficult to beat easy should be easy to beat next one let's look at this one here we go that's a nice cover hope for the caregiver encouraging words to strengthen strengthen your spirit is not really direct competition because that seems to be more of an inspirational book rather than practical uh, but he has it's been around for several years lots of reviews very high review average 
<clears throat> this could be an author to collaborate with long term, you know, in some way, because he complements what you do, Glenn, and he doesn't do the same thing, but he targets the same audience. So that's a great uh, person possibly to network. Um, next one. Not sure about that cover. Mm. Missives from the caregiving minefields, the reluctant caregiver. Yeah, not sure. <laughs> not sure about that one. Uh, zero reviews, but again, only been out for three days and it could be that she hasn't officially launched yet. <clears throat> and then let's just quickly look through all of them so you get an idea. This looks pretty professional. It's been around for a long time, has 25 reviews. Uh, not selling though. Checklists, forms, mobile apps, toolbox and straight talk to help you provide compassionate care. So that's a pretty decent book. It also helps Glenn, by the way, to read some of these books so you know how others are doing it and how they structure it. Now this one is about Alzheimer. What I learned from caring for my mom. That's nice. Um, again, not competition to you because it's a very specific subgroup and it's more autobiographical, but again, a person to network with. Uh, to collaborate with later because it's not direct competition but she targets some of the same audience of course Alzheimer is one of the biggest and you will probably have one whole book on Alzheimer care I hope you will <laughs> and then let's look at the last one terrible cover wow really bad and we have no clue what this book is about it only has caregiver as title and that's it just totally disastrous uh, has reviews amazingly 31 high reviews counts so maybe he changed the cover later I don't know because this is uh, weird um, going back to idea searches this was just for caregiver so this is a keyword I would totally go after it's not super high traffic but Glenn uh, the topic you're writing about from this from the search volume doesn't seem to be high traffic at the same time we all know how desperately people are looking for this kind of information so I'm not quite convinced uh, that this is not something that could sell really well uh, in this case, you would probably have to dig deeper and find uh, out what people type in that look for your kind of book. Caregiver may not be the book, um, the, the keyword. I also, by the way, put in key caregiver ones with um, in two words. It's probably misspelled. I actually don't know right now, but uh, as you can see, much lower search volume. And I think there were a few below. You can also use both, even if it feels misspelled, it doesn't hurt to use that one in the description, once in the description or in the back end, because then you rank for those keywords, for those variations as well. As you can see, caregivers, elderly, but even Google doesn't have any search volume. Very surprising, I have to say. Now let's look at home care. Okay, let's go to the top here. Home care, surprisingly low, less than 100. Uh, let's go ahead looked at a few I believe home care assistance so nothing that really had a high search volume senior home care less than a hundred I have to say I'm really surprised I guess people are not looking on Amazon for this type of book which doesn't mean you shouldn't write it but uh, it doesn't seem a logical thing for people to do more on, on Google but not so much on Amazon However, your book can also rank in Google, so <clears throat> not to exclude it. All right, so that's that. Then the other thing you want to do, we already looked at covers. You want to go over to Amazon and then put in, I already had played around with this a little bit. Let's put in caregiver again and see what comes up. There you go. And we want the Kindle store, of course. So we have to go down here. There we go. Boom, let's do it again. All right, so this one comes out on top, not surprisingly. And then you need Kindle Spy. That's the other tool. Otherwise, this will take forever. So you go to this little icon up here and then Kindle Spy gives you sales rank immediately. Otherwise, you have to go on every page and look up sales rank. And this gives you a very quick overview. Also here, page number, review number and so forth. But I can already see, look at this sales rank. Everything is over 100. There's one at 43 when reasoning no longer works. So that's not really... Uh, what you write about Glenn all the others are much much higher coconut oil breakthrough obviously not relevant everything else here is not selling at all pretty much and this is pretty much the same books we just looked at so that's great so you can totally uh, do better than that 
Um, now when we click on this book and we go down, this is another way to, to find uh, keywords, by the way, that Amazon seems to find relevant, meaning people are looking for this. You see here home care, that's the subcategory, elder care, aging parents, all of these are great uh, words to go for. And if you go all the way to the bottom, that's all the categories this book is ranking in. So nothing new. So aging parents, home care, and elder care. In fact, let me throw that into KDP Rocket. Let's start with elder care. Not great. Just the main word is not uh, elder care for dummies. Handbook, consultant, elder care 101. So none of these are high traffic keywords. All right, but it's something to still use. Elder care strategies, American elder care. which has a higher search volume in Google, but once again, not on Amazon. Family elder care. Yeah, none of these are highly searched on Amazon. Just looking through here. Alrighty, so not high traffic, but still something you should include as a subhead, for instance, in the description. And then home care was the other one in two words. I had used it in one word. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, there you have another good keyword, 567. Not gigantic, but not bad. Certainly more than less than 100. It's, it could be your second keyword, caregiver, home care. And then let's see what else they have here. Home care for the elderly. Would obviously be one you can use. Looking through here, home care assistance. That's okay. I would definitely go for that one too. See 4,400 in Google, but only 308 in Amazon, but that's still better than most of the others. So definitely go for that one. And then senior home care, 252, there we go. So now we're getting somewhere. Home care assistance, senior home care, uh, home care jobs, accurate home care. Let's just click them all and see which comes up. Accurate home care 203. That surprises me. I don't know if that's a brand or if it's just accurate. I have no idea. That's something to log into, obviously. But Medi Home Care, first slide, that seems to be a brand at Home Care. Premier Home Care. So you look for anything that is related and see what comes up here. Progressive home care, private duty home care, less than a hundred. Again, all stuff you can sprinkle in the description and so on and so forth. Elderly home care, there we go again. Home care solutions and so on, quality home care. So that already gave you a few more ideas and let's also do aging parents. Since since that is what Amazon has as categories, not super impressive. Caring for aging parents. Yeah, dealing with aging parents. See, this is great something you definitely can use in the subtitle. Taking care of aging parents, how to deal with aging parents, how to care for aging parents. It's all the same thing, but they all have different search volumes. Aging parents checklist, coping and so forth. You can go there. Most of them are not very high as I already mentioned, but as you can see, so you, this is how you really drill down on um, finding keywords in your niche. So not something like healthcare, because healthcare could be Obamacare, it could be all kinds of things. Uh, but you're talking about caring for the elderly and you need to be specific. 
Yeah, like senior is much too general. Senior could mean anything, but you need senior healthcare, and then you could try that as well. So that's just a basic quick overview on how you do that. And then you go into uh, Google, uh, Amazon <laughs> rather, and also look over there what comes up for that you can use Kindle Spy. But the great tool here is with KDP Rocket, you just go to competition, competition, sorry, competition, and then you do what I just did and you look at the covers, you look at the titles. That's why this tool is so amazing. You can do this manually, but it'll take you days. And I'm saying this ironically because I realize that people take this seriously and actually do it manually. Don't do that. You're wasting precious time. This is what software is for. This is a one-time investment. This one's 97 and it's absolutely worth it. Um, and then Kindle Spy or KDP Spy is something you need for looking on Amazon. Click on this little button here. And this is for just one book. But that's how you get all these numbers in just boom, like one second. All right, Glenn will look forward what you do next. See you soon. Bye.